David Kosick retired not too long ago, but he's about as busy as he's ever been. It's more of an opportunity to be something else. Like for 40 years I did a job and I was that person for a long time. Now I, I, I see it as an opportunity to be something else. Kosick is just one of the many volunteers from all walks of life who help make the Saskatoon Food Bank and Learning Centre run. Us as staff don't have the time to stand in one position for an hour and bag all this stuff because we've got a multiple of other things that we have to do. So without our fantastic volunteers that come in every day, this stuff wouldn't get packed in a timely fashion. In David's case, it's also easier to make the commitment as his wife Barb volunteers along with him. I think uh, everyone that lives in this community, Saskatoon, has, has a responsibility to give back. Uh, so that's, that's what we're doing. We have time now. Oh, just some cereal. And... It's good. It's fun. We have a lot of fun working here. And occasionally volunteers are the ones who make big changes in the organization. Barb came up with a new way of dealing with baby food that has dramatically reduced the amount that is wasted. Barb is great. Like before we had somebody regularly coming in to do that, she actually came to me and said, hey, do you want me to start organizing this baby food, right? That's how it got started off. So now I go through it every Monday and then I make baby bundles. So it's put out right away and yeah, so it worked out really good. So are, are we doing one of each now, one of each? Yep. Yeah, okay. On the surface, it may seem like the Cossacks would have little in common with Harlev Preetgara. But like the retired couple, this university student who immigrated from India has also made it a priority to give back in his adopted city. Every community has uh, members who are like less fortunate than others, so it's, I think it's very important to help them out as well. because. If we don't help them, then we as a community cannot move up. Gara says volunteering has helped him feel like a part of the community. And he has made many friends at the food bank while making hampers for those in need. They're always very happy and welcoming. They always smile and, hey, good to see you again. And when, I, and when I'm leaving, they always ask me, when are you coming next? One other thing Gara and the Cossacks have in common is they hope one day there won't be a need for people like them at the food bank. Maybe someday we'd like to think that there may not be a need for the food bank when we have young people that are educated and, and, and can make the community as strong as it needs to be. Well, I feel good that at least they have some help, but at some level I feel how can we um, improve their life that they don't need to come here, you know. It's better to let them out of this cycle so they can help themselves. But as long as there is a need, they say they will be here to answer the call. It's a really noble cause that they're doing, so I felt really good, so I kept coming back here. For information on volunteering opportunities, visit saskatoonfoodbank.org. In Saskatoon, I'm Simon Hyatt reporting.